so the last thing I wanted to get into, we kind of actually just went right into it, but uh, just the question is, are we seeing the parity that everybody wanted when, when it comes to college football? You know, you talk like there was talk a lot about like the Bama fatigue, Bama, Clemson, Ohio State. Those teams always made the playoff. They're always yeah. in the top four, blah, blah, blah. Whereas now you're looking at it, right? Alabama loses this weekend to Tennessee. Tennessee's in the top five. Like, who would have called that, you know, preseason? Um, and, and it's just, it, it essentially, it feels like the national championship is is legitimately up for grabs. Even last year at this time, I don't think it was up for grabs. I thought it's Georgia's to win. The year yeah. before that, it was Alabama in the, the COVID year, just absolutely rolling through the schedule. It's like, yeah, no, I, I'm pretty sure that that, that team's going to get it. 2019 was, L, you know, at, at early on, you're like, well, I'm not quite sure. But then once LSU got to, you know, really that Alabama week, they beat Alabama, you're like, yeah, no, this that team right there, that team looks special. So it's been a while since we've had, you know, even midway through the season where at this point of the season, you're like, this is legit. This is wide open. And I think I think it's been quite a while since we've been here. Yeah, um, look, it, uh, at least for this year, for this year, uh, there is definitely parity at the top. Uh, now, I don't know. It, it could be just a weird year where the, the have programs are kind of going through a transition where maybe some of their highly talented kids are still learning and not quite ready to make the impact that they're going to eventually make. Uh, and, you know, some of the teams that are on that next echelon are a little bit more experienced, kind of even in the gap, if you will. So, I, you know, that would you know play itself out in the following years. But at least for this year, there is definitely parity at the top. You know, I think they are – Legitimate, and I'll put it like this: There are legitimate scenarios where you could say, "What well, there's maybe four or five teams can win a national title um, with with certain things going their way." Um, I mean, I, 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 I listen. If, if we start to roll through teams, Georgia, right? Georgia, Ohio State, Tennessee, Michigan. I'm not sold on Clemson. Uh, They're undefeated. Look, they, look. Here's what I'll say about Clemson, right? They both undefeated, and they have a national championship. Right? They have a pedigree, and they're in position. So you can't just dismiss them. Now, have they looked impressive? Have they looked like crying? The Clemson of, you know, well, well let's say what? But see, none, of, none of these guys though have won a national championship. I understand. You know what I mean? No, like I none of none the of them have done. It. That those players have not, but right. they have played in big games. At least some of them have. You know, they're, they're, what, two years removed from the playoff? Last year, they didn't make it. Maybe the year before they ran it, right? No, uh, 2020. In 2020, uh, yes, they played uh, Justin Fields that, that in round one, which Justin Fields went crazy, remember, broke his rib, all that stuff. Right. Yeah, right. so, yeah. So, I mean, look, look they, they have some experience. They have a very, very experienced head coach. They have the pedigree as a program. I just like you, you, you can say, look, they have some kind of chance to do it all, right? So I'm not going to dismiss them. So okay. I, I do think Clemson should match. Should, should, so should. that's that's five. If you Alabama, want to throw Ole, Alabama in there, six. It's still Alabama, right? Ole Miss, they, they, TCU. I mean, there's there's some there's some teams. Nah, you, you I would even go to Miss. Oklahoma State. I, I don't. I can't take. I'm sorry. For me, your guy is Lincoln Riley. I can never take Lane, Lane Kiffin seriously. So that's, that's fine. Time. That's fine. But Ole Miss has never been seven and zero oh at this point. You know what I mean? Like, the, like the that's it's the so point. Gimmicky. Like, I, I just I can't I can't see that working. How do you like Lincoln Riley and you don't like Lane Kiffin? I don't understand Lane, this. I don't Lane, get it because he's had so many like fall on his face moments as a head coach. You know, the Oakland was a disaster. Tennessee the first time was a disaster. You know. It, 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 you know, then I just I can never take him like seriously. I'm sorry. Like, well, I, I guess can't. Lincoln Riley has been laughing his way to a national championship, and I forgot about it. But anywho, uh, he was very successful at Oklahoma. You see where Oklahoma is after he left. Now, granted, they're going through a transition. But I digress. How many and players did he take with him? Pretty damn good job at USC. How many players with. did he take with him? Now they now granted they are guys he recruited to Oklahoma, but I mean, he, how many how many teams if you take their their starting quarterback away are going to be amazing? Not just a starting quarterback, a pretty damn good starting quarterback. And he and that's not the only guy that he took. If you're an Oklahoma like fan, like you gotta throw the back away. Like, 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 
didn't get with you, man. Kind of did. We did have a lot of success under you, but you, you left and you left. You left. Our guy. Yeah. I don't know. Anywho, not, not my problem. Not my problem. At the end of the day, Ole Miss is still seven and zero. Like they, 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 they're seven and zero. They control their own destiny. You just, you just never know, right? What if? What if they have a win over Alabama similar to what Tennessee did, right? Like that, I don't think that's out of the out of the question, out of the realm. So it's you not, just never know. Defense looks you right now. Look, know. I'll say this, and, and look, the way y'all defense looks right now is definitely possible. It is absolutely possible. It'd be um, nice if uh, Eli Ricks could figure out a way to get on the freaking football field. He's a five star yeah. recruit uh, transfer. Somehow he can play at LSU, but can't play at Bama, but. I feel like it, I feel like Saban's just like just like he's watching, you know, and deep in this layer of film and you know, probably has the lights off, probably some coffee because late at night he's studying, burning the midnight oil, and like he just sees certain things on film and he just like just like <laughs> tries to throw crap around the room, like like you know, just <laughs> like just like what you know, just losing his freaking mind when yeah, he's looking yeah. at film. Yeah. Um yeah, so. and um Absolutely. yeah. This has to be, dude. This has to be one of his most frustrating years in a long time. You know, this absolutely would agree. frustrating. Even last year, I think I thought, me personally, I thought they overachieved a bit. Like I, I was just like, man, like I mean, you think about the LSU game, almost lost that. You think about the Auburn game, almost lost that. Lost to Texas A and M. Um, and it, you know, it just we got to the Georgia, uh, the SEC championship game, and and. Somehow the the narrative of like oh well Alabama still has a path to get in even if they lose I'm like no they don't they're a two loss team they do not um, but you know ended up beating Georgia which it, that was that was wild um, and then you know beat Cincinnati they got the great draw and um, but yeah so last year I think they kind of overachieved a bit um, Bryce you know we saw the beginnings of Superman and you know the, this year he has continued that trend of. This dude is freaking un- unreal, but can't seem to get somebody to, to come along with him except for uh, uh, Gibbs, the running back. But, yeah, it's – so I said all I had to say, the the college football landscape is just wide open. For this year, is wide open a- as it looks now. And uh, could you imagine if this was year one of the 12-team playoff? Holy oh. cow. It would be nuts. Yes, it will be nuts. And it, I will say, what impeccable timing for just the selling of the uh, of this year. Mm-hmm. Like, look, 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 if we had to play, the, the, if we had the 12-team playoff now, look at what we could have, right? So you would um, have Georgia, Ohio State, Tennessee, Michigan would all be on a bye. Mm-hmm. Clemson would host USC. Oh, Alabama what? would host Oklahoma State. Ole Miss would host Oregon, and oh TCU gosh. would host UCLA in round. That would be our round all one match. Of those games, <laughs> all of those like games, all of those games are must. Are those, must game, those games would each need their own like day. It's like like it's, not, it's not even fair. It's not even fair. Like you gonna have like three teeth. Like you gotta have your laptop up, your 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 phone, oh. and your TV. Like you gotta have. Three like you could you could not overlap any of those games. Like no, that needs to be a them. noon. A uh, four. Uh, I mean, I don't know if you'd want to do one that late, but oh man, that would be unreal. That would oh, yeah. be unreal. That'd oh, yeah. be exciting. And, 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 I mean, that's one of those days where you got to set it up with with the wife and with the family. Like, look, because <laughs> if we have stuff to do. Let's knock it no, off. And get no, 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 no. There, there is no stuff to do at that. That's that's a a week before conversation of. Yes. Like, okay, what do we need to – let's go ahead and knock it out this weekend. Yeah, I can't. Um, this weekend. You know, <laughs> what, grass cut, uh, yes. you know, the, the, the hedge is trimmed, you know, vacuum, shampoo the, kids, the cart. Like, get, you, take care of all that. Yep, kids yeah. go to, to grandma and, yeah. and, and, you know, grandparents. No, but that that's not a – we're not doing anything that day. No. Absolutely it, not. It, it's only pizza and wings or whatever you like to eat. <laughs> you know, you like cauliflower wings, that's fine too. Whatever you like and beer. <laughs> And beer, and you're, and you're just hey. Oh I'm, my I'm goodness! Right and now. just tweeting up a storm, like watching yes. the game. That'd be pretty incredible. Yes, I mean, like you oh. don't even have to have a rooting interest, and like you're just like, man, this is awesome. Right. And, then, and then the cool thing about it was with this kind of parody, like I can't overlook anybody. Like we can match up against any one of these teams; it matters, right? right? So, um, you know, and you know, it'll be fun at this point as a Michigan fan because you have to buy, and I'm just like, 
all right, I don't have any stress right now. So I could just be a casual watch a fan and still have, you know, you know, a potential rooting interest. So no, man, um, that's, that makes it really fun. Uh, stre- it, it stressful and fun, but, uh, <laughs> look, uh you know, but you yeah. know, like I, I, I will say this, we'll, we'll, we'll go into it, you know, next week, uh, rivalry week versus Ohio, uh, versus Michigan state. Look, um, I really, really want to just just stomp out the Spartans, and I, I think for Michigan, um, it's imperative to understand that that team in East Lansing never shows up defeated. They're going to show up putting their best foot forward, and I will highly suggest that Michigan comes out like they versus Penn State and put their foot on MS, MSU's neck early, early, early. Um, and 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 to, and to stump them out and, and and move on, right? And but we'll go into that next Wednesday, and uh, when we really get to talk about uh, the rivalry game.